Good morning, boys and girls. Yep, it's early morning. Oh, yep, and we're here. Why is my light so cockeyed? Oh, no. Uh, uh, it's none of it's helping. Okay, we'll just take the hat off. There you go. All right, so today we'll try not to screw up with the video. I don't know how successful we'll be, but yeah, that's a pisser. I had some good shots yesterday that I thought you guys would enjoy. It is 5.56 in the morning, and it is, uh, I will tell you, 28 degrees Fahrenheit, although on this one it says it's zero. So there's a little bit of a difference between the two. It's probably more like minus one, minus two, if it's 28. It all depends on uh, what location each one is out of. They obviously don't have it at the same place. Two different weather services, yes sir. We bob. Okay, so we're gonna go outside and finish up our pre-trip. I'm gonna turn on our lights. Oh. And we're gonna do our four ways. Here we go. So we're gonna go out and finish our pre-trip. Oh, good morning, boys and girls. Yep. Okay. So we just finished fueling up here. Exit 175 off of the 81 at the pilot. Now we're gonna go get on the 476, the toll road. on 476 for a little bit. Maybe I gotta figure out how to get on her here. Make sure we get on going the right way. Oh looks like it might be a really nice day out. Of course looks can be deceiving. 476 81 north. Okay. Left here because we don't want to get on 81 again because then we'll be in the same pickle. We don't want to go the other way. We want to go this way. Ooh, big bump. Oh no, not too bad. Sorry, Bob. Oh, I forgot to clean my windshield. Well, we'll do it with the windshield wipers. Off our fluid. Beautiful day out. Left on the east, left, 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 left,
sign doesn't make sense because no sign says 443. But it's 590 meters, so I guess we go straight through. This thing, guys, uh, when you're going, so, you know, and the funny thing is, I had a question for someone wanting me to show and film or do stuff about going, you know, someplace that I've never been before. <laughs> Alright, so I got a trip here going someplace I've never been. I just finished telling them, oh yeah, but that's very few and far between. Okay, so I lied. Okay, so I guess we want to go on the left lane here. Gotta watch the signs. Side nice. left on East oh. Black is Lee Boulevard. Yes, PA Tom. 443. Yes, Tom. You already told me that earlier. And when you get into these small places, guys, be very, very, very careful. Uh, a lot of times there's, like, not a lot of room to make turnarounds if you make a mistake. So, now, the directions I had from the company came from I-81. However, the routing they gave me came from 476. And that's the way my GPS went. So, and I looked, you know, zoomed in and checked it. It's all pretty much staying on a main highway. There's no lot of lefts or rights or anything like that. So, we're going to follow the GPS. And we're going to see how accurate the GPS is. So it's supposed to be right on this highway right here. The problem is, now here there's a nice wide spot I could pull over if I make a an oops. So the trick is not to make an oops. Now, is this, it's 443, but is this the name of the street that I want? That's the question. 594 is the address. I'm not sure if it's on the left side or the right side. I'm looking for addresses here, but nobody freaking has any addresses! What's up with you people? Why don't you post addresses? Well, I got a long line of cars behind me now. I'd like to just pull over and let them buy, but I'm not going to pull over in the mud. Approaching so. destination at one kilometer on the right side. Okay, so according to Tom, they're on the right side. Now, what he, the GPS will get you to go to and what actually is, could be two different things. Like as far as, the, it'll go to the address, which would be the, you know, the non-commercial entrance be the human being entrance if that makes any sense so this is where you got to watch to try to find it and make sure you don't screw up Whew. should be coming up here shortly hopefully I don't miss it approaching destination at 300 meters on the right side turning around would be really really difficult. Well, it says no trucks to turn right, so we know we can't turn right. So the entrance won't be there. But sometimes the destination on the right side, five, ninety-four. Well, how's that possible? I couldn't have arrived at my destination because it ain't here. See, so this is where I'm screwed now. I'll try to find this place. And there's no freaking addresses. We're going to find some place to pull over and try to find a address. Because I was probably supposed to turn down that little road. Even though it said no trucks over 45 feet. Gonna pull off up here. And we're gonna figure this out. Because we know we've gone past it. By the looks of that gravel lot, other people have gone past it too. So we're gonna figure this out. Uh, alrighty, appears the address I had was wrong. Well, there's an east and there's a west. I guess I had the uh, the other end. 
So, we are gonna go up this way. So we gotta find the tractor supply. So just after that. So, that's another thing too, see? I don't always get it right. Head up here about two miles. Let's see if we can find it. I'm not gonna leave the camera running the whole time here, guys. I'll turn it on just before I get there. Alrighty, so here's the tractor supply. So it should be shortly after that. Oh, I'm guessing it's the uh, probably this gray building or the blue building. It's the blue building. There we go. Visitor entrance. See, we don't want that. It's a truck entrance. Alrighty, we found it! Yay! Alrighty, so I'm gonna put the camera going, even though my windshield's a little dirty there. What a freaking hole to put this thing into. So I'm gonna slide my tandems. If they'll slide. There we go. Let's try to get this in this freaking hole without running over their grass, but okay, there's a ready Someone had already run over their grass. I'm gonna attempt to not run over their grass This is one cockeyed place to back into And There's a construction trailer here So this is where you got to use your power mirrors a lot they don't have this set up very well for trucks, let me tell you. Let's hope I can make this. Of course, my mare only goes so far. crooked. Luckily they got this little pull off here. It's definitely not set up properly for trucks. Oh my god. I hate to slip on the clutch. It's going to be a long way down that hill. That would hurt. Oh. I wish I went and dropped that trailer in a freaking stupid spot. Like, yeah, let's drop it right near a freaking loading door. Oop, we're crooked again. Wish I would have had the time to set this up on the mirror, but... Unfortunately, I'm late, so well, I don't think it matters too much. Alrighty, well, it's pretty much straight there now. So we're gonna get out and go open our doors. And we'll be back. Alrighty, just want to show you guys. Hey, can you see the wet marks? That's where I came in, my trailer. I didn't do those marks. Well, okay, I got a little bit on the grass. But, you know, considering that dipshit was there. So, no, not a whole, this is lots of room here, but. As you can see, we did it. But that needs to be bigger for the trucks. So, anyways, we made the customer. We backed in. See, we're in. And we're getting unloaded. 
So now we got to send in a thingy for our one receipt and look up where we're going next. Yeah. Alrighty, boys and girls, we've left that uh, receiver. We're all delivered. And now we're taking the two lane all the way back over to the 81. Alrighty, thought I'd uh, share this with you. We're coming into Tama. Tanakwa, Tamakwa, Tanakwa. I'm thinking that's how you say it. It's on the 309 here. Holy jeez. A little town like this and they got one high rise in it. It's like unbelievable. It's actually funny. exactly how we're supposed to go here. I know there's a little bit of a zigzag coming up. It's like a, a weird five-way intersection. Oh, sure. Go yellow right as I'm at the intersection. Slide right on Watch Chunk Street, PA 309, and then slide left in 180 meters. I'll probably put this up as a separate video. I don't know. I hate these small towns sometimes. Peters, slide left on Vine Street, PA 309. Yes, 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 Tom. Slide left on Vine. Okay, Tom. Freaking crazy the way they've got this set up. I don't know why this guy in the pickup truck pulled up like that. I'm going to have to try to remember the name of this town. Well, I know what some of you are saying. Am I going down a truck route? Well, there's a truck behind me. So I must be. I'm not sure why it routed me like this though. Instead of just going straight on that other street. Oh, I think because the other part is one way down there maybe. It's always possible. Yeah, you just look down the intersection, it was one way down there, but man, it's really goofy going this way with a truck. Don't be moving your truck now, dude. We're going to a one-way section here again. Wow. Yeah. You guys got to be really careful going in some of these small towns, man. Oh, certainly don't want to make a wrong turn. Could get ugly. this place 
Nice, Maqua. Uh, Tamaqua. That's it. I remember that. Anyways, that was Tamaqua. Yes, sir. We just dropped our empty trailer at the door. We're at our pickup here in Hazleton. Another Celadon just left before me. It was kind of funny. I looked at the sheet. He's got the same first name as me. Oh, we're going to wait for this guy to move his arse. My trailer's right here in front of us. 247756. Yes, sir. Hey, Bob. It is. Alrighty, time to blow this popsicle stand. What the heck out of Dodge? Oh, in this case, Hazelton. Hazelton, Pennsylvania. This one screwed up frickin' entrance way. Man, is it ever frickin' small. Alrighty, the reason I'm turning the camera on is because of Mr. TNC here. Well, and there's a bunch of others back there too, but... Signs have been clearly saying no trucks in right lane, through traffic, stay left. It's amazing how many drivers can't read the signs. And I know someone's going to be a smart ass and say, why? Why do trucks have to drive in the left lane? Well, number one, you have all the on-ramps and off-ramps coming right into that lane, coming onto the highway, going through the construction zone. So they don't want the slower trucks and the bigger trucks to be having to slam on the brakes to let people into the highway. But it's amazing how many drivers read these signs. They don't even think that they apply to them. It's like, wake up, people. It's not rocket science. If the signs say, trucks do not use right lane, then don't be in the right friggin' lane. Now that we're through the construction zone, we can go back in the right lane. I just had to get that off my chest. Yes, sir, Bob. I did.